this is your mid-month general and love read. The King of Wands, and oftentimes, this is my Leo card for me, okay, but it could be male or female. The Two of Swords, oh wow, the Hanged Man in reverse, feeling like there's some stuck energy. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. Oh, wow, the Four of Wands. Okay, very interesting. All right, so let me get reset up the tripod here and we will get started. Okay, thanks. All right, so Virgo. It's very interesting. Uh, the signs that are standing out for me are definitely, uh, with this being my Leo card, but it does also represent Aries and Sagittarius. I'm also getting Pisces, maybe of importance. And I'm hearing, don't turn a blind eye. I feel like there's something that is around you that you're not seeing or that you're missing. Um, I feel like there's some type of either extreme protection or indecisiveness with the hanged man here and it being our major arcana there may be a situation where you just feel like possibly you have given up a lot of sacrifices for someone it may be male or female uh, a fire sign they don't, it doesn't have to be, but you know, this too, to me, often two comes up, like there's a decision to be made regarding, uh, this, the situation that you're in. It may be regarding your home because the four speaks to home to me. It speaks to family and foundation. Feels, uh, speaks to stability and structure. and But it also speaks to new beginnings. I do feel that somebody health-wise, there may be something that somebody's waiting to get some lab work or test results back. Now, it may involve the head or the neck area and possibly the legs or foot or something like that. But it's kind of interesting because I'm seeing this really kind of as you, since you are Virgo, there's something that you've really worked hard for. And What's interesting, though, is that you're looking kind of this way and the other, there may be a person in your life where it's, I don't know, it's like I feel like there's being pulled in two different directions or maybe you feel like you're putting in a lot of energy to make this household if you're married or if you're coupled up or you're engaged or in a relationship you know where you're putting in more energy and somebody else is um they're putting in energy but maybe it's not fulfilling you know what's really interesting is we've got wands we've got pentacles we've got swords but i don't have cups here 
which usually represent to me, you know, the emotions, that strong emotional bond. Maybe this is more, when I think of uh, Leo the lion and I think of that passion and that energy, and when I think of wands, I think of that like tangible, passionate. So maybe it's, it's not as emotional of a relationship as maybe you're wanting. But I do feel that this not, there's, I'm getting the word twins. So I, I'm taking it as it could be that somebody is not sure that they are pregnant or the possibility of getting pregnant with twins or there's two. So there's something about maybe there's two sides to somebody and I'm being led to say that you're seeing one side or maybe there's just a lot of indecisiveness within yourself. Maybe you're the one that's feeling kind of like this. We're being pulled in two different directions. Um, I also feel that somebody may be, well, I'm hearing an engagement. So that could happen out of the blue i'm also once again the pregnancy or fertility there's something about that but i also feel that somebody is possibly getting engaged or getting married and this may also be that you've worked very hard, that there's like celebrations. This can represent like a retirement. Someone's retiring. Could also be that you're going on a, a vacation or a honeymoon or maybe you're traveling um, to go and uh, attend somebody's wedding or engagement party. But I, I think that somebody is really kind of going back and forth in terms of, I feel like uh, it, whether or not they're, you can make it on your own or there's self-sufficiency. I feel like there is because I'm really seeing this as you, male or female, like you've really worked hard. And if you, you've accumulated things, or if they're not things, they're uh, the possibility of something that will lead to something new. And possibly there's been a lot of self-reflection, because I'm really focused on the head here. But I still feel like there's someone's got their guard up, or there's something that there you're not seeing there's this energy of feeling stuck or things maybe aren't moving in the way you thought that they were going to maybe it's also a, the fear of change or something changes I just get kind of like weighing your options. There's a lot of introspection. This could be, you know, not just blockages. Something is being blocked. Now, this could be a legal matter is what I'm hearing. That there could be some arguments. So I'm picking this up as possibly somebody is getting a divorce. And maybe there's arguments about money or there's decisions. Now, with the hangman, often I hear, and it's coming across as something legal. So there may be something about a hung jury. The jury's out. 
Now, it may not be something legal, but you're still, you know, it's like you're waiting to see what someone's next move is or how much energy or how much, you know, maybe they made promises and you're waiting to see, are they going to follow through with those promises? Like they said they would. And so there's, um, I'm hearing like the proof is in the pudding. So you want to see. And chances are, I feel like it, it will. But these are minor arcanas. This hanged man in reverse. I feel like there's um, a decision that you are either going to be making uh, I feel like this could definitely be work related, getting back to maybe the path you want to go on um, in terms of career, in terms of uh, school. But I also feel like this is in terms of a marriage, staying married or of a relationship. Maybe there's been a lot of time that was separated, and so you're deciding, um, are we getting back together? But, you know, this person also is looking backwards. So there may be, like, you're starting something new, or somebody around you is is forming a new relationship, and uh, you're kind of... Watching this happen, if this isn't you, or somebody from your past may also be watching that you have formed something new, and they're not very happy about it. It's another way that this is coming across. So this could represent somebody from your past that is kind of trying to make things difficult and not allow you to be happy about your marriage, about a wedding, about an engagement, about a pregnancy, or that you're building this life together. But, you know, it could also be that this is you representing or really looking at what have I gotten myself into? Is this what I really want? So it's going to be different for everybody that's whom this message even applies to. But I think that, you know, you are definitely taking some time to kind of weigh your options of what path you are going down. Because as I said, this is definitely beginnings that are new beginnings that are coming in. Now, one other message that I got is this. If you are going to be in the sun and you're very sensitive to the sun, make sure that you wear protection. There's something about protection that is needed and protection from the sun so one thing I'm hearing is that somebody may be getting like something looked at, like a mole or a freckle. Uh, but I, and if you've had issues in the past where you've had some surgery or biopsies, definitely I feel like there's a need to protect, you know, closer you get to the equator because you may be traveling to a very fun, festive, sunny place. So just make sure that you wear whatever the doctor told you to wear, SPF 50 or whatever, you know, he or she um, said to wear. Because there's something about that where I feel like there's a need to cover up. Now, I also get that somebody is covering something up. And this could be this month or um, to give you going back and forth with where are you happy? Where's your happiness at? So these are just some messages that I'm talk to you soon, Virgo. All right. Bye.